Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and I'm excited to share with you the new features in Breakdance 1.7. So, new in 1.7, we are supporting massive monster WooCommerce installs. Here I have a site with almost 25,000 WooCommerce products. And let's go ahead and open up the single product template in WooCommerce in Breakdance. And here we go. Loads up very quickly. Even though there are 25,000 products on the site, it doesn't take a long time to load this list because we don't show all of them. And instead, you can just search and that loads quickly as well. Breakdance will not be the limiting factor for massive Woo installs. If your WordPress setup can handle it, Breakdance can too. People have been loving Breakdance for WooCommerce because of the great defaults, the customizability, the built-in filters, the global settings, etc. And now you are not limited at all on the size of your store. If WordPress and your server can handle it, Breakdance can handle it. Next up, we've added support for alternate templates and advanced custom fields and Metabox repeater fields. A lot of people don't know that Breakdance has native support for advanced custom fields, repeater fields, and Metabox repeater fields. So here we have a repeater field, and in Breakdance, you can now specify an alternate template, so you can do a layout like this. Template 1, template 2, back to template 1, you can even specify a static item. Uh, new in Breakdance 1.7, a lot of people are going to love this one. We are now supporting TinyMCE as the rich text editor. So here we go. Here is TinyMCE, and this is fully optional. You can go into preferences and use the old editor. Personally, I love the old editor. A bunch of people much prefer TinyMCE, so we added support for it. You can use the media library. You can install TinyMCE editor plugins. For example, here I have advanced editor tools installed, and from here you could go and add, for example, a table. And there we go, tables in TinyMCE inside of Breakdance. We made a lot of improvements for developers. We now have a global settings API. This means you can add your own controls to the Breakdance global settings. We added a third-party template marketplace. So if you go to Breakdance templates, you can look at the third-party templates. We have a few already live. They are great, uh, and we are very excited to see what designers and developers create for Breakdance. To that end, we've improved the design library functionality in Breakdance. When you turn a Breakdance website into a design set, enable copy from front end is no longer enabled by default. So you can now have a live website, make it a design set, and instead of getting this copy from front end button, it'll just behave as a normal Breakdance website. If you want users to be able to use the website, you can share the URL with a password. So this way, they can't just use it for free. Once they buy the design library kit from you, you give them the password, and only with that can they access it. Uh, we've also made various other bug fixes and polishes. The code block now wraps lines by default. You can disable that in preferences. The form builder element supports accessing the form values if you were to run JavaScript on a successful form submission. Um, and we've just made a number of other improvements, so consult the release blog post for that. Okay, let's crack into the individual features and do more in-depth dives. To get started, let's take a look at the new alternate item support for repeater fields. So we have alternate item support for post loop builder, and people love that functionality. So we thought, why not add that for repeater fields? And in Breakdance 1.7, we did. So here I have a site with a number of property listings on the site. This is a custom post type, and I have the field set up with advanced custom fields. We have various fields for property listings, including a repeater field showing a gallery of the rooms in the house. We have a room name and then an image for each room, and we want to display those in a list. So in Breakdance, here is the template that I have that applies to each one of these listings dynamically, and I've added a repeater field element to that template, and the first thing I'm going to do is choose my repeater field, and then I'm going to choose a global block that's going to be repeated for each entry in the field. So I've already created that block. I've called it room repeater part. And that block is very simple. It just has a, a heading field, which is linked to the name of the room, and an image field, which is linked to the associated image. Now I want to create an alternate template where for the second item, uh, the fourth item, the sixth item, it displays a slightly different layout. So let's go ahead and save this. And then let's go to global blocks in the WordPress admin panel under breakdance. Let's duplicate that room repeater part. So I'll just click duplicate. And let's go ahead and rename this to room repeater part alternate. We'll save that. And let's now edit this in breakdance. 
and let's go ahead and preview that same thing that we were looking at earlier in the template so we can actually get a preview of the fields in the repeater field. And now let's go ahead and just change the layout by reversing the order of these columns. So we'll put the image on the left and the text on the right. Let's go ahead and save that. We'll close this and back in the breakdowns template for the uh, property listing. We'll go to the repeater field. Under repeated block, we're going to go to advanced. And then under alternates, we're going to choose the new block that's going to be room repeater part alternate. We're going to put this in position two and we are going to choose to repeat it. And here we go. Now we have a nice alternating layout. We also added support for static items, so you can inject something right into the middle of the loop, and it won't affect the loop. So for example, here I've created a template. Your dream home is, is a call away. Contact an agent. This is a nice call to action. Let's go ahead and add this inside the repeater loop. So I'll just go to advanced and under static items. I'm going to choose that that block I created, room repeater call to action. And we'll put this in the fourth position. And now let me scroll down one, two, three, four, and there it is. And then we keep going with the main layout. Okay, that is the new repeater field, alternate and static item position features in Breakdance 1.7. This supports both advanced custom fields and Metabox repeater fields. New in Breakdance 1.7, we've added support for Tiny MCE. So in the rich text element and most other rich text fields in Breakdance, you can now use Tiny MCE. This is also known as the WordPress Classic Editor. The plugin to make Gutenberg like the Classic Editor has 5 million installs. People really like writing text this way. You can now do it in Breakdance. It also works with whatever Tiny MCE plugins you're going to install. So for example, I have Advanced Editor Tools installed here. I go to Format. Um, I can do all sorts of things. I can go to insert. I can add a table. I can go like this, horizontal lines. Um, I can insert media, um, all sorts of things. You can now do this in breakdance. For those of you who want more control of the HTML code and don't want to use a text element for whatever reason or a code block, you can come in here and do that as well. You can go back to you. You can go back to using the old editor by going to the dot, dot, dot menu and preferences. And from here, you can toggle between the editors. You can just prefer Tiny MCE for rich text or turn this off. And then you will use the original rich text editor. Next up, new in Breakdance 1.7, we're adding support for massive WooCommerce stores. Here I have a 24,000, 25,000 product store right here running Breakdance works flawlessly. We do not need to increase the memory limit to something crazy. We don't need a crazy server. As long as WordPress and WooCommerce can support a store of this size, Breakdance can as well. Breakdance won't be the limiting factor here. We've made the necessary optimizations in the Breakdance code base to query the WooCommerce database in a very efficient manner. If you visited the Breakdance website recently, you may have noticed we've updated. We are making significant improvements to our documentation. It's currently a work in progress. We have a much better documentation page now, a browser organized in, an, in a nice hierarchy. And you'll see we have the new global settings API documentation in here. Uh, this documentation shows you how to add your own controls to the Breakdance global settings panel. And these controls can also be created with Element Studio, so consult the existing Element Studio tutorials on how to do that. Um, this will allow Element developers and plugin developers for Breakdance to add things like a you know popular forms plugin styler to the Breakdance global settings or other controls for their specific Element packs. This is going to unlock a lot of power, and we're very happy to support developers that are creating some fantastic stuff for breakdance. Next up, I want to show the ability to create a design template with breakdance and password protect it for selling to third party sellers. So turning any breakdance installation into a source for the design library is easy. You just go to breakdance settings design library, and then check the turn this website into a design set box. This is going to give you a shareable URL and you can now enter that URL in the custom design sets box on other breakdance websites and that will connect this website to the other website and the other website will be able to access this website's design elements all of the pages all of the sections the global colors 
etc. So new in Breakdance 1.7, we disabled copy from the front end by default. So now you can create a website with Breakdance that behaves as a normal website, and it's only available as a design set to you with a password or your customers with a password. Let's go ahead and enable copy from front end and save that just so we can see it. And here I have a page. Let's refresh, and we can now mouse over, and you could just click this button to copy the section to the clipboard, and you could then go into Breakdance on another site and right-click and hit Paste to paste this section in it. If we disable that, uh, then we can enter in a password, for example. And now users will need this URL or the password. They'll enter the URL like this, or they'll be prompted to enter the password when they try to actually use an element from this design set in the library. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look at how it works. We'll go into pages. Let's add a new page. Let's edit that with breakdance. And let's open up the design library. So we're going to add library. And now let's choose a design set. Let's go down. Here is my design template. Let's go to my page. I only have one page here. And here we go. We can now add the sections on my page to the site in one click. Let's do that to prove that it works. And there we go. And that would work across domains. It wouldn't just work on, on this domain. Along with Breakdance 1.7, we've launched a new template marketplace on Breakdance.com, which you can find by going to Breakdance and then Templates and choosing All Templates. And here, third-party creators can list their templates directly on Breakdance.com. So here you can go to Publish By, you can choose Breakdance, or you can choose third-party. Here are some of the templates we already have a few submitted. We've just launched this. Let's take a look at some of them. They look great. Here's the gardening layout by... BD Library, awesome. Looks absolutely beautiful. Here's a gym template by Betami. Also looks fantastic. Here's the Easy Shop layout by Sanjay Panikar. This is a WooCommerce store. You can import these to your own Breakdance website in one click. If you want to list templates on the marketplace, um, you go to the Breakdance customer portal, uh, click the button to submit a template, and then you get this form where you can fill it out with your name, your logo, the template preview URL, and then a URL where they can buy the template or get it for free on your website. And once they do that, you would give them that URL with the password that I showed you how to create earlier. So that's how you could sell templates that you create with Breakdance. Okay, there's a number of other polishing enhancements and fixes in Breakdance 1.7, but it's too much to cover in this video. So go to breakdance.com, uh, scroll down, find the blog post, or we'll be linking to it in this video description and we'll cover the other uh, polishing changes, bug fixes, and enhancements. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.